Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone I hope you're doing fine inshallah As I said I will be going live inshallah And now we're here I just wanted to update you uh, regarding my uh, campaign that we did for Beirut Alhamdulillah you guys have been so generous uh, We've reached uh, 27% of the campaign so Alhamdulillah I'm really happy for that uh, and I'm always glad to be involved in you guys, you know, to uh, be part of the work that we are trying to do, inshallah. So, uh, and again, as I always say, you know, I feel that my, my Instagram, my social media gets more meaningful when we do these things together. And not just like an artist-fan relationship, whatever, you know. So, uh, yeah. And as I mentioned, I will be inviting my dear friend, Richard Whitehead. And uh, for you who don't know who Richard Whitehead is, is all I can say before what he has accomplished but I can say he, this man is just a human I mean it's just like a amazing amazing human being amazing soul you know you get you just have to get to know him to understand what I mean so that's why I'm gonna bring him on now inshallah and uh, so you can get to know him a little bit and he can tell us a little bit about his story and a couple of days ago, he just texted me out of nowhere and uh, just felt the love and need to help, you know, uh, the people in Lebanon. So I was so uh, happy for that and appreciate it a lot. Uh, so inshallah, I'm going to bring him on now and then we're going to have chit chat. And then, yeah, that's it. <laughs> inshallah. Maybe you can leave also some questions uh, in the comment fields and maybe we can have some, you know, quick Q&A. If we see something there, but let's invite my brother Richard. Let's see if he's on. Here we go. Here we go. Waiting for Richard Whitehead to connect. Here we go. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> how are you? My dear brother Richard, how are you, man? You're so busy. You're still in the car. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm in the car now. I'm actually busy going to the to the gym now. now yeah, so yeah. I'm going for my jujitsu class in a, in a bit. So healthy, and that's really good to see. Sorry. You're looking really fit and healthy. Thank you, man. Thank you. Likewise, I'm inspired yeah. by you, brother. Uh, <laughs> it's um, it's always good to chat, even though what we're going to be talking about today is um, definitely is, uh, obviously really really tragic. But we can all come together and. Um, support people that are obviously less fortunate than ourselves and it's really absolutely. important it's really absolutely. important that absolutely. we uh, we do obviously yes, uh, yes. reach out and help other people yeah my brother richard before we start talking about anything i just want like would you mind if you can just like in a, like just a couple of meanings introduce who you are to the followers to, to the people who don't know who you are okay so i'm richard whitehead and uh, i've been competing in athletics in paralympic athletics for around 10 years. Um, that's actually me in the background, winning in London. Yes, I shall. This comes out. And yeah. <laughs> my running vest from London. So as you can see from the, uh, from the picture, that I actually wear running prosthetics and that's how I actually get around. But that, that also gives me a great platform to hopefully not just inspire, but also just talk to people about the benefits of supporting people that are less fortunate than ourselves. Yes. And that's how we obviously work together with, uh, first of all, with one family and uh, working with the refugees in Syria and Jordan and Turkey, etc. And uh, being from Lebanon yourself, and I've worked and raced in Lebanon a lot. I yes. It's really important that um, athletes, public figures... Uh, musicians. I don't know, if I know any. Do I know any musicians? Uh, I don't know if I know any. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you know. <laughs> you know one here. <laughs> yeah. um, that obviously we all come together and support each other. Yes. Uh, yes. And um, through through power athletics and through sport, it's given me the insight to know that that sport's great, and you see um, the athlete or the person winning or doing very well. But it's yeah. what happens after is really important. Yes. And, and for me, that's supporting people that um, are disengaged from society or economically uh, really struggling. Um, and the opportunity for us to, to reach out and support is something that we all need to kind of grip with both hands and um, absolutely, absolutely. support the people. And, and I think when we've worked together, we've, 
we found that common ground, haven't we? That we we want to not just support people, but also educate uh, those that don't understand about what's actually going on all over the world. Yeah. And I think social media is great because it gives you a platform to uh, reach out to those all mm. over the world. Yes. The only 100%. problem I find with social media is that it happens and then some, and then we, we see the tragic moments or we see the inspiration and then something else replaces it very quickly and we forget. Yes, 100%. I think, I think what we need to have is we need to have calls for action. We need to uh, stand together and really support those that need it at times of crisis. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's me. That's me. I just, I just run a little bit. That's you. That was great, man. That's great. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful words, you know, from beautiful human being. I always say you're just such a human, like a beautiful human soul, you know. And I, uh, I, I'm just so grateful that I've, uh, you know, got to know you. I will never forget the first time we met. It was in, uh, in, in London, and uh, yeah, I remember yeah. we were talking and stuff. And I asked you, like, where do you find your inspiration? Where do you find your motivation, your drive? You know, to to do these charitable works, you know, that you do. And uh, I can never forget that you said something like, we have to be grateful for what we have and, uh, you know, and think about the people who are less fortunate. You yeah, know? And that's like, it's really important. Uh, to me, that was like so inspiring to hear from you, brother. It's and, amazing, you know. And I, and, I, and I think likewise, when we were chatting about how you uh, give your, your time for, yeah. for those causes that are close to your heart, but also for people that have those, uh, those visions to, yeah. to help, help those that are less fortunate. I think that yeah, really yeah. inspired me to, to think that what I'm doing is, 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 is thank the you, right thank thing. You. I'm so happy to hear that. And exactly what you said earlier regarding, you know, the, like, uh, I feel that, I always feel that, and I feel, to be honest, you know, the people who know me, and I was speaking to one of my friends yesterday, I really feel bad about, like, having this position and knowing that I can do so much more good but I don't do that, you know. So I so think I'm you so do. Happy. I think you do. It's 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 not it's not forcing it. I think it's just being yourself. Yeah. yeah. And those but, any, that are but, but you, now I'm so happy, that. you know that. Yeah. So so it's so basically like you know just being that famous personality comes with a great responsibility. And exactly yeah, what definitely. you were saying, I always try to you know give out this message to people who have a lot of followers, who are influencers, who are you know YouTubers, who are like you know whatever you have. When you have followers, you have a great responsibility. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm so happy, you know, that, uh, you know, we have great people around us that pushes us to do, you know, do these things and, uh, and, uh, you know, just advise us and, uh, keeps, keep, us, keep us, keeps us grounded, you know? Yeah. And, you know, uh, yeah, remembering so, so. what, where home is as well and remembering what, what helps Absolutely. us get, get to where we are, which yes, is really yes, important yes. and, yeah. and not, and not thinking that, that um, those people aren't aren't important. I think it's really important to yeah. support those around us yeah, yeah. that help us to, for that success. And success yes. does look like lots of different things. Definitely, it's not, definitely. It's not all. It's not all about shiny gold medals, right? Uh, definitely. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Man. It's not all about yeah, shiny man. gold medals. It's yeah, about making definitely. people happy and supporting yeah. those people that are having really tough times, whether Absolutely. it's through Absolutely. mental health. Whether it's through a conflict, yeah. whether whether you're a refugee, whether you're yes. displaced, whether you you need some financial support or just some words of, positive words of advice, it's really yeah. important yeah. that you're yeah. able to give those. No, and, obviously, exactly, yeah. and obviously, we've we've got that connection as well with um, with where you're from, obviously Lebanon yeah. and Beirut. And yes. um, when we when we hear about tragedy, especially on on the news, mm. you you see a snapshot of that 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 city or that that culture or that that yes. country. And for me, I've 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 been to Beirut, I've been to mm. Lebanon many times and raised yeah. there. Yeah. And the people that are there are very friendly, uh, mm. very resilient, very. Uh, honest and truthful yeah. and mm. uh, the food's amazing the culture's uh, uh, infectious of and of it, it's something that something that I when I when I saw that the, the the tragedy um, yeah. it, it, it made me think this is a call to action it's, it's a it's um it's a real time for me to uh, yeah. To, to support those in any way that I could. So yes, that's yes. the reason why we chatted. Yes. And, absolutely, um, absolutely. And that's a great thing, you know, I appreciate it a lot. Like two days, I think it was two days ago, three days ago, 
when you when you just texted me out of nowhere and told me Maher, I would love to help and you know do whatever I can do to support. And then I told you that I have a, a, a an ongoing campaign. Would you like yeah. to do something new, or you want to jump on that? And you said, let's do, let's just support that and jump yeah. on the the current one. And you know, I really appreciate that um, that you know help that you put into and the drive that you have inside of you to do good and help people. You know, and appreciate like where you are and know that where you are is also comes with a responsibility. You know. Yeah, and I, I I just love that about you and it inspires me a lot. And you know, you you said you said something else about you know, uh, like usually when we hear things on the news, we hear, we we see something like this. For example, the tragedy in Beirut, it happens for one two days. You you hear about it and read about it, and all of, all of a sudden, as you said, it gets replaced by something else and it's gone. Yeah, something else. Yeah, you know, my yeah. mother, my mother, you know, she lives neighbor. Uh, she's she's like my neighbor basically. So I go when I go into her, her TV is twenty four hours live like uh, news from beirut and you can see the problem i mean the the chaos that's still over yeah. there and you see the people like getting interviewed talking about you know like uh you know she told me about a story that uh, there was a man he had four daughters you know and his wife so so his wife and two daughters died in that uh, tragedy and i i think i think it's impossible to uh to even imagine, you know, the... You've got children like me as well, haven't you? So... Yes, yes, it, exactly. That's the thing. Like, you think it could have been me. It yeah. couldn't be you. It couldn't be anyone who's watching right now, you know? Yeah. Like, anyway, even even in the most safe place in the world, like Sweden, London, or whatever, you know, it's, anything can happen, whatever. Yeah. You know, so so this is, uh, you know, the, so it's great that you and me, we get together and raise this awareness, keep talking about uh, what's going on in the world, you know, and yeah. even though, the, you know, the, I mean, exactly what you say. I love what you say. Like some new things comes and replace, you know, something that's old, but it's not actually old. It's still going on. No, right it's still so just, many places it's in still the world. happening now. There's, yes, yes, yes. Hundreds like of thousands people, of there's people. There's so many stories. Yeah. So many stories like these, like this, this family that lost. You know, half of the family was gone. They still like they cannot find the remains of a lot of and the bodies of a lot of you know people and family members. And do you, you know so? Do you do you when you're when you're writing your your music and your your producing does does that influence your your material that you absolutely is absolutely it, because I, I know from obviously talking when we when we're in Turkey that you said your influences are, are very much about what how, what you're feeling or what you're seeing in the moment. So do yeah. you do you do you get that real strong feeling about definitely you know you know this is what i said that you know just by just by living where i live and where i grew up and uh, you know the the circumstances that i live in that i live to that i live into right now and everything i just feel so fortunate you know but at the same time i feel so bad because you know like i just feel that we could do so much more but we're not doing that you know so when i think about these things and i have that a lot you know i think about it a lot so there is actually a song that i wrote one time it's not out yet and it's basically, it's not done, but it's basically about, I could have been you, you could have been me. You know, that's the whole, that's the whole concept of the song. And it's just like, you know, why am I here and you there, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, so, and I, and sometimes I even feel like, you know, when we see these things, most of the time we feel so sorry about the, yeah, these yeah. people. But I feel sometimes like we should be sorry. We should be feeling sorry as a believer. For example, I believe in judgment day. I feel be sorry. I, I, I should be feeling sorry about myself when I'm going to meet my Lord in the day of yeah. judgment, you know, sure. because we're not doing what we should, like what we're supposed to do. We're not doing enough, basically. Mm. So that's, that's like when, you know, but again, you know, I feel like I want to do more and I'm so happy that, uh, you know, you're on board and uh, Alhamdulillah, you know, I thank God for uh, all the chances and opportunities that we have in front of us, you know, uh, and uh, but, yeah. And we, and we have lots more, I'm sure. I, Absolutely. I, um, I, I remember, I remember when we, we when we did the, um, the, the one family trip and uh talking talking to your team about kind of getting to know all the great work you've done yes and i i, I learned one 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 fact about you that so you're the you're the second biggest star in sweden behind latan <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know like when i spoke to you funny... said mention it <laughs> yeah the, i mean the funny the funny thing is in sweden like i'm i'm so i'm pretty much unknown you know and i love it like i i'm just so happy about it you know, I, I just twenty six million followers on Facebook. Yes, you're known, like, right? I've I've been on some <laughs> interviews here and there in Sweden. You know, and, and people, you know, they said they 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 talk about me as a like as a I don't know how to say it in in English, but you know, they they say like 
the 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 guy who's more who has more followers than than Ibrahim, you know, uh, uh, Ibrahimovic, you know, but he's like basically unknown here in Sweden. So how 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 does that come together, you know? So they get like surprised and shocked. Like, why why? But you also you know, say understand. how you like that and and how it I love enables it. you to do the work that you do as well. Yes yes exactly exactly. And I think you know part of that has helped me to stay grounded. You know, yeah. Like uh, I I live just as as. A, as any other, you know, human being on, uh, you know, in, in, in this country. And so I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy about like that. But, you know, we, uh, exactly what you said, you know. So I have more followers. I don't know how it is right now. But, <laughs> but I think I think still, you know, Ibrahim, which is, he's much more famous than me. You think so? Yeah, <laughs> yeah not, think for, so, think so. not for the right reasons, though, right? I don't know. Why not? He's he's an amazing, you know, he's an amazing uh, sportsman, uh, you know. So amazing so, footballer, said so famous all over the world. You know, so, so so the cha so the charity wise and the charity appeal um, for yes. for Lebanon and for for Beirut. How how yeah. did you how did you one start that and then what does it look like at the moment and then what are you trying to achieve with with the, yeah, we started basically the we started last I think level last Saturday. And uh, it's all, it's basically a week now, yeah. So and and, uh, and grateful, you know, we've we've reached twenty seven or twenty eight percent out of the total amount, which is twenty five k uh, pounds. So I think we reached over a little over seven seven thousand pounds, you know. So awesome. it's amazing. I'll put I, the I link love on that. My you know, page I, as, well, as I said, you know, I say this to my fans, you know, when I speak to them about these things, I just say that, you know, and they know me when it comes to social media. I don't like social media so much, but I feel like I have to stay connected <laughs> because I have to show that I appreciate them, of course, you know, which I do. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate all my fans all over the world. Uh, but, you know, this kind of things makes it more meaningful. When we get together, you know, I have like a global family basically over everywhere. We get together and I, you know, I, uh, I, I get them together with me on, or us, you know, to, to be part of the work that we do. It, it makes more my, my, it makes my social media, you know, uh, more meaningful. Yeah. yeah you know? So, so I'm really grateful for that. And uh, people are still donating, people are still supporting. Uh, I said, I saw somewhere today that, you know, someone wrote and she was, I think it was a she, uh, she was very sad. Uh, because she couldn't donate because you could only choose basically uh, like uh, um, say the currencies that are available. Okay, like I need yeah, to yeah. ask. I need to ask the the team if yeah. how that works exactly, so I can uh, you know. Uh, but I also uh, think it's it's awareness that's really important as well. It's yes, not just the, It's not it's not just the, the, the financial uh, support that people give. It's uh, the, 100%, 100%. everybody that's that's watching today. If you can share. Our, our posts and our messages with your yes. with your yes. friends then that, yes. that awareness that message then spreads yes. and, that's really and just important. by that feeling you know yeah I just what I wanted to say is that feeling that she had those he had you know you should be grateful for that feeling and you know I ask I, I, I ask God to accept that from you you know because yeah. that feeling you want to do something but you're right now you're not you know able to do that exactly right. what you said Richard they can they can share you know the the campaign link link for example on the stories on the instagrams and just share, yeah. share it with some friends and families and uh, yeah so whatever you can do whatever you can do to help is you know yeah, it's, yeah and amazing. and are you are you planning to uh, go to beirut Mahal. Yes, yes, I'm planning to do. But you know, the the we're trying to see like how's done, how's that gonna work? Because you need to like test yourself before you go. You yeah, need to yeah. test yourself before, you be, like when you when you get there and there's like a quarantine. Yeah. This it's, it's a bit complicated, but the plan is to go there, inshallah. And uh, let's where there's see, a will, there's a way. Sorry. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Yes, exactly. And uh, I've been wanting to go to Lebanon, you know, for for like the past year now. And uh, didn't work out, and then this Corona pandemic, you know, happened. And uh, but now we are trying to do it with the team from Salam yeah. Charity, and uh, hopefully it's going to work out. And I'm really, really looking forward to go there. And and the kind of support that you're offering is it is it uh, on the ground, uh, food and shelter and exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's like an emergency, uh, you know, thing. But also because I because I'm originally Lebanese. And, you, you know, I say all, all, also this, like, you know, no one can do everything, but everyone can do something, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like I want to do so many, so many things, right? So you get overwhelmed, and at the end, like, the risk is that you don't do anything. You just yeah. feel like. So find something that you're passionate about, 
and like focus on that, you know? Yeah. So I want to try to do that with Lebanon because I know the situation in Lebanon is so, so, so bad right now, yeah. like on all levels, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so this is like one thing, obviously, but we've been speaking about a lot of things, you know, especially in Tripoli. I know there's a lot of people, you know, uh, that are struggling with poverty and uh, uh, Tripoli, Tripoli, Lebanon is where I, you know, when I'm where I'm born and I grew up and I was there, I used to do go there every summer, you know, so. So I feel really like I was really hurt when yeah. you know, every calling. time something happens to Lebanon and Beirut and what I know the situation, I'm hurt, you know. Yeah. And also Wasim, my uh, my manager, is also from Tripoli. So we have that passion, you know, yes. we want to do something for uh, Lebanon and uh, and uh, hopefully hopefully we can uh, do something. And, and the, the, the spirit of, uh, of Lebanon and uh, Beirut is really strong. I remember when I did the Beirut Marathon in 2000 and eight i think it was i've raced there since in 2009 and 2010 but 2008 yeah i've raced in 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 lebanon and i um i ran with uh, a lebanese guy he was from tripoli as well and he ran with me for about 50 miles and we 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 had we had a uh, conversation for for those 50 miles and one thing that that really stood out, out was the 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 spirit and and how how nothing is too much and he was he was talking that because at the time it was uh, ramadan mm. and he wasn't drinking water and i said how mm. are you going to cope with running 26.2 miles wow without yes, any yes, water? yes 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 it would be said, dream right. basically yeah that's what he said look th this is what this is what i want to do this is what i need Lovely. to do Lovely. my body is Lovely. able to do it because i i train for this day and it was it the, the messages were very strong and yes. ever since i uh, i've run that race it's really wow. kind of ingrained in my head yeah. that wow you can be this this thing's really really important your your mind your your yes. body is just the 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 vehicle that drives your brain 100%, 100%, 100%. and 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 for me that they, those messages really uh left me with that yes we need to do more and anything yeah. that's possible within life and yes, that's why yes, we all yes. need to come together yes yes amazing man amazing amazing bro we still have to do them out to you and me Yes, don't think, don't think we still I have to, about yes. it. <laughs> so now that we've done Instagram Live, and then uh, everybody on the Instagram Live will will know now that yes. you have said you're going to do a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. The only problem is that I what I do, you know, my my jujitsu is hurting my legs and knees and foot and. <laughs> No, oh, excuses. no excuses. No excuses. Yeah, I hope. Maybe, I hope maybe I can we be. should do it in Lebanon. Maybe we should do it in Beirut. That would be amazing. Amazing. Imagine that. And we do it like just like raising for you know whatever. Yeah, that's a great thing, man. Let's let's think about it. Let's yeah. you know, let's let's sit down and talk about it and make it happen. Yeah, and I, and I, and I think I'd like to I'd like to be involved in obviously supporting uh, you in in Lebanon and Beirut wherever I can, and um, obviously the coronavirus is is really tough regarding travel at the moment yes, but yes. social media and um until obviously we can then uh, yeah. i'll support yourself and the, the charity as much as we can and we need to you know, yeah. get as many people to be talking about the stories and and the stories that's happening on the ground at the moment but also yeah. the great work that people are still doing to absolutely absolutely uh, to support exactly you know the great work you know i hear when i when i'm watching the tv you know you can see like it's so beautiful, like how I, I get, you know, you feel, I feel really proud when I see these things that, you know, all, all Lebanese people, you know, you know, regardless of background, regardless of religion, you know, got together and cleaned the streets and, you yeah. know, helped each other and, you know, opened their homes for, for one another. And this is something that's really, you know, the human you spirit feel, is, you know, gives you yeah, that warmth and, and, and you feel proud. And uh, yeah, so it's amazing, amazing. There's so much good, you know, to, to, you just have to dig deep and bring it out. Everyone has that good inside of them, you know? Yeah. So anyway, my, my dear brother, I'm so happy that you got on board and God bless you. You're such a huge, every time I start with you, it's just like, just an amazing human being, you know? just a human <laughs> mate, I just soul. That I really appreciate it, man. <laughs> don't, you're so humble. You're so humble. People don't understand how much work you actually do outside thank you, of thank you. Your, thank your singing and, and that's what's, that's what's so good. So keep doing what you're doing, and thank you, uh, and we'll catch up very soon, right? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. Thank you so much for uh, okay. jumping on. Thank Sweet you, bro. Steve. Cheers, mate. In a bit. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. All right, that was my uh, dear brother Richard Whitehead from London. Mashallah, I'm uh, so grateful that I've met this uh, this amazing human being. Mashallah, such an amazing and humble and uh, and uh, and grateful. You know, 
you guys have to go and check his um, Instagram. It's Richard Whitehead. And you will know what I mean when I say he's so grateful for, for all the blessings that he's got. And uh, yeah, so uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm happy that we did this live. And, uh, you know, it gives you uh, inspiration and motivation to continue doing what we're doing. And uh, yeah, so again, you know my campaign, please keep supporting it. Uh, it's, uh, the link is in my bio, as you, if you don't know. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, that's it, I think, for now. I will have more live. Uh, the next time I think we are looking to have, uh, we were supposed to have someone on board from, uh, from Lebanon, from Beirut to speak and show us what's going on over there. But inshallah, within a couple of the coming days, uh, we will have that, inshallah, and uh, show you guys how it's looking there. Um, but, uh, you know, as, as we, we spoke about it, you know, the thing is like when something tragical, when something, you know, happens, uh, the, the whole world speaks about it for one, two days, three days, and then it's gone. But what's happening is on the ground over there, it's still the same situation, if not worse even. You know, and we just f forget about it and just, you know, get on with our lives. And uh, and I even do that. I'm not saying like, like everyone, everyone who don't see and re get reminded all the time. You just, you know, life goes on. So you just live, live on, you know, as normal. So that's why it's great uh, to have these live sessions, speak with uh, people such uh, like great, great people as uh, Richard. And uh, just remind ourselves and remind everyone out there and raise that awareness that people are still suffering and we need to be there and support with whatever we can. And uh, now I think we've been speaking for about 25 minutes and I'm sure that, you know, there will be so many, you know, I always say this, all the viewers that all of you guys and don't underestimate anything that you can do. You know, it could be a prayer. It could be just like, you know, telling someone else, you know, if you tell someone else and it, he ends up or she ends up, helping in, in the, you know, and you are the one that, you know, initiated that, you will get the same reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't forget that. So anything you do will be great. Uh, and uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for being generous. And uh, yeah, speak to you soon, inshallah. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.